So many people ask us, how does the Dragonfly printer produce electronics? How can additive manufacturing be leveraged to create those interconnects, to create those layers that we're familiar from the traditional electronics industry? And so the Dragonfly system is an inkjet deposition system. This means it's contactless printing, but it's multi-material contactless printing. This means that on the one hand, the system is able to deposit polymers, dielectric materials, and on the other hand, it's able to deposit conductive material, in our case, silver. The Dragonfly inkjet system deposits a dielectric material or a conductive material to replicate the image that you have from your EDA design. So what the system does is it accepts your Gerber and Exelon files, allocates the location of the dielectric and the conductor, and then we'll set to work building them up from the bottom. And it's important to note that in order for the VIA to be internal, blind, in traditional manufacturing, requires many steps where you actually have to manufacture the board in, in different stages, and then you have to go back a few steps, you have to go forward a few steps, perhaps you're plating, perhaps you're drilling, perhaps you're pressing, because none of those steps are required in the additive process, as far as an additive process is concerned, all of this is merely a question of adding layers uh, as you go. There's no feature that you cannot print. You won't need to drill, you won't need to press, you won't need to etch, and you won't need to plate. The process using an additive deposition, contactless additive deposition system, is simply one of pressing print.